Jehovah's Witnesses and Higher Education Jehovah's Witnesses are advised against getting a higher education with Watchtower providing regular warnings that attending university is an improper use of time in these last days. This topic deserves careful consideration because a higher education is often required for a fulfilling career. Watchtower sensationally groups being encouraged to get a higher education to being encouraged to use drugs. The Kingdom Ministry in 2011 said, Your children will no doubt experience new challenges and pressures. Are they prepared for the pressure they will receive to pursue higher education, date and use alcohol or drugs? Watchtower leaders have always taken issue with higher education. In 1910, Russell said, I advise all Christians not to send their children to colleges or universities, for if they do, they will risk a great deal through infidelity and unbelief, and they will be doing their children a positive injury. For a short period of time during the 1990s, Watchtower actually softened its stance against higher education because of the financial hardship that many Jehovah's Witnesses were going through. The Watchtower 1992 in November said, Some have had to accept jobs that require them to work very long hours to make ends meet. Becoming physically exhausted, they gave up the pioneer ministry. If Christian parents responsibly decide to provide their children with further education after high school, that is their prerogative. This relaxed stance didn't last long with higher education again being criticized from the early 2000s and onward. In the Watchtower 2005, it said, in most places, however, higher education is expensive and getting more so. All of this takes a great deal of time and energy. What then will be left for spiritual activities? Watchtower 2011 said, If you have a means of supporting yourself, do you really need to spend time, money and effort on further education just to realise personal aspirations or those of your parents or other relatives? The Elders' Manual includes getting a higher education and encouraging it as being a reason that an elder or ministerial servant could even be stood down. It says in chapter 8 of Shepherd the Flock, If an appointed brother, his wife or his children pursue higher education, does his life pattern show that he puts kingdom interests first in his life? Why is he or his family pursuing higher education? Does the pursuit of higher education interfere with regular meeting attendance, meaningful participation in field service or other theocratic activities? Watched our reasoning against higher education. Watchtower provides a number of reasons for why higher education should be avoided. These include that pursuing advanced education is materialistic, a waste of precious time during this time of the end, it involves bad associations, and it can be damaging to faith. So let's look at each of these and see is it really logical to follow these arguments. Time left is reduced. The primary reasoning against the higher education is that the time left is reduced. In other words, that this system is about to end. Watchtower 2012 said, No doubt school counsellors sincerely believe that it is in your best interest to pursue higher education and to plan for a secular career. Yet their confidence lies in a social and financial system that has no lasting future. Watchtower originally said that the world would end in 1914, then in 1925, and it's been saying it's going to be very soon ever since. In fact, the year I was born in 1969, I stated that the end would come before children at school in 1969 would get to even leave school. And this was that, you know, the assumption the end was going to come around 1975. Several generations then that have been told the end was about to come and not to get a higher education have not only not seen the end come, but they have finished their entire careers, gotten old and even died. Often they struggle with a lack of retirement savings because they weren't able to get a decent job and put aside for the future. If the Watchtower is convinced that the end is really about to occur, why is it they continue to build bigger and better headquarters and kingdom halls? Why is it that they actually are putting their own members through higher education? For instance, in the Australian Bethel, Watchtower paid for Vincent Toole to go to university to become a lawyer. 
It's hypocritical that Watchtower leaders continue to make long-term plans, but then they tell the followers that they must not. Time consuming. University is described as so intensive that Jehovah's Witnesses that go to university will not have time to pursue their relationship with Jehovah. In 2019, the Watchtower included a quote from a Jehovah's Witness saying, Studying for my courses took so much time and effort that I was too busy to linger in prayer to Jehovah the way I used to, too exhausted to enjoy Bible discussions with others, and too tired to prepare well for the meetings. Thankfully, once I realized that being immersed in higher education was damaging my relationship with Jehovah, I knew I had to stop, and I did. This is simply untrue. University does not take up more time than school or a career, and for students that are struggling with going to university, there is always the option of doing it part-time. I actually went to university in the 1980s and 1990s, and I came under a lot of criticism throughout the entire circuit for doing so. But thankfully, it's led to me being able to have a fulfilling career. The point I wanted to make, though, is that the workload wasn't too hard for me to take. In fact, I did university part-time, I regular pioneered, and at that time it was 90 hours a month. I also worked and earned enough money that I was able to support myself. So going to university doesn't have to take up so much time that you're unable to continue your other parts of service to Jehovah. Materialistic glory seeking. Watch our labels those that go to higher education as critical materialistic glory seekers. I am ashamed to admit that the education I pursued taught me to be critical of others, especially my brothers and sisters, to expect too much of them and to isolate myself from them. Watch our 2011, higher education, Jesus warned against seeking your own glory. Education does not cause materialism. Materialism is an attitude, and that attitude can be held by people both rich or poor, educated or uneducated. People with a lower education and wages can be equally materialistic and paradoxically, if you have lower education and lower wages, you have to work more to attain your desires, which in turn takes away from your time being able to spend worshipping God. Bad associations. University is described as a place of debauchery that can corrupt the minds of young Jehovah's Witnesses. Watchtower 2005 says university and college campuses are notorious for bad behavior, drug and alcohol abuse, immorality, cheating, hazing, and the list goes on. However, in a 1992 Watchtower, it admitted that there are the same dangers in high schools and technical colleges and even the workplace. Jehovah's Witnesses are able to attend university and not get involved with worldly people and their bad habits, just the same as they are able to go to work and not get involved with people at work that are, that are encouraging them to be engaged in bad habits as well. Higher learning. Watchtower shows concern about the information that is taught at university and how this could corrupt or turn away a Jehovah's Witness from their faith. In 2019, the Watchtower said, Satan appeals to natural desires. The education system in many countries teaches students not only practical skills, but also human philosophy. Students are encouraged to question the existence of God and to disregard the Bible. They are told that the theory of evolution is the only intelligent explanation for the origin of life. Such teachings are opposed to the wisdom of God. Some Christians who have pursued university education have had their minds moulded by human thinking rather than by God's thinking. I watched our 28 said, Yet many who pursue such education end up with their minds filled with harmful propaganda. Such education wastes valuable youthful years that could be best used in Jehovah's service. While certain degrees in the sciences may conflict with a Christian's belief in God, Many degrees do not. Degrees such as accounting, engineering, law, information technology do not bring up these sorts of philosophies in conflict with what Jehovah's Witnesses believe. When I did the commerce degree, 
I don't think there was a single topic that was ever brought up that had anything particularly in conflict with Watchtower teachings. And you must wonder if it's correct that a university education could really make a Christian question their faith, you have to wonder just how strong is the Watchtower doctrine that it is so easy to dismantle in the minds of a person that was brought up being educated as a Jehovah's Witness. Recommendations. Watchtower advises replacing a university education with that of a divine education through their publications. The Kingdom Ministry in 2011 said, Are we encouraging young ones who are often steered by school teachers and others to pursue the world's higher education, to set spiritual goals instead and pursue the highest education, divine education? This is a comical straw man fallacy because... No matter how good a divine education is, it does not help a person get into certain careers. And just how successful these educational careers have been, just look at the world around us, how much better off we are through our medical system and through the living standards that we have. Every time you get into a car or an aeroplane or a building or go to the doctor, the divine education had nothing to do with that. That comes from having an education that leads to a successful career. It comes as little surprise then that a 2008 Pew survey identified Jehovah's Witnesses as having the second lowest level of education of any religious group and the lowest amount of families earning under $100,000 US dollars. So let's sum this up. Watchtower's reasoning against higher education is illogical and contradictory. Becoming materialistic is not a result of a higher education. Being too busy because of a higher education doesn't make sense when your career is going to extend for many decades, and particularly in light of the fact that Watchtower's predictions that the end was about to happen has been proven false now for almost 150 years. The concern that you'll be introduced to bad associations at university is equally illogical because these are the same people that you will be working with. What's particularly hypocritical though is that the Watchtower needs educated people. It needs people with certain qualifications and degrees. In fact, it asks for the congregations to supply people with degrees to help them in a lot of their building and construction and legal and printing work, such as in a elders letter dated from November 2015. One coming from the Australian branch stated the following. We confidently seek your assistance in identifying spiritually mature baptized individuals in the local congregation who are also qualified as solicitors, barristers, certified practicing accountants, or chartered accountants. How hypocritical that the Watchtower is wanting these brothers who have their education, even though, on the other hand, trying to say that Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't get a higher education. They know that it is important for people to have these qualifications for many aspects of life. Whilst the Watchtower doesn't directly prohibit getting a higher education, the ongoing negative commentary puts a lot of psychological pressure on Jehovah's Witness children not to plan for a higher education. The Watchtower has not been a reliable guide for the future. They have said for over a century that the end was about to come and it hasn't. And so you really deserve to think about whether a higher education is important for you. Is it required for the type of career that you're interested in? Now, many people aren't interested in a higher education. What they're interested in working in will be something different. So I'm not saying that you should get a higher education, but if your interest is in an area that you need one, then you should consider it. This is particularly important because you are going to have a career. You need to plan for having a family, a long life, and then a period of retirement. And all this commentary by the Watchtower that the end is going to come has been proven false. So don't allow that to affect your decision making on what you, the career is that's going to be best suited to you.